Ricky reports here in the Howden Auditorium where Mr. Howden 2017, the party of the decade, just concluded. And it was a party indeed. For the 10th year in a row, the Harrodin Auditorium was filled to the brim with people who came to witness Harrodin's biggest event, Mr. Harrodin. Organized every year by student council, the event brings together 10 upperclassmen boys who attempt to wow a panel of judges with their talents, creativity, dancing skills, and overall enthusiasm. So who was crowned this year? In first place, and Mr. Harrodin, 2017. Joel Danilevitz! Every single person in this is so incredible. Oh my god, I wish you guys could all be, we are all Mr. Harrington. This is every one of us in the officers, everyone's amazing. Joel went over the judges with his talent in which he sung a song deeply Most personal to him. Anything to get you back by my side. But I just keep on laughing. I'm hiding the tears in my eyes. Cause boys don't cry. Boys, boys don't cry. I spoke to Joel after the show. He told me he was trying to send this message. Um, there is a very defined line between being masculine and being feminine. And I've always been one who kind of has questioned that a lot, who hasn't tried to adhere to standards that I think really just suppress the emotions of young men and also work in detriment to um, a more equal and fair society. Joel said that it was all more important that he send this message in a competition about young men. In second place was Will Hoffman, who, well, you'll see... Hoffman was inspired by an SNL skit. He spent the first month of rehearsal learning the dance and the second month learning how to do it in four inch heels. You know, every every uh, girl I talked to was like freaking out about how difficult it was gonna be for me and was like, got a shower in them and like walk around the house, but like it really wasn't that hard. So any guy who wants to try wearing heels are there, don't listen to him, it's really not that bad. On the next Ram Report, I will share the highlights from the rest of the show, as well as look at why Mr. Aaron was able to raise over $30,000 for charity this year. It's just one reason why Mr. Aaron in 2017 was a party to remember. Reporting from my fourth and final Mr. Harden, I am Ricky Reports.